hi friend welcome to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make the best yet simplest chicken and waffle recipe you do not want to miss this stay tuned <music> The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean our meat. The um, chicken tenders always have this vein sticking out of it right there that you could see. We do not want that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove that from the meat. Okay. I'm going to cut it on one side and I'm going to go ahead and go on the other side. And I'm going to cut it so that it can release from the meat. Then I'm going to put my knife up underneath it and I'm going to just slide it like that. And I'm going to cut the chicken and the um, vein is going to fall right off of the chicken tenders. Okay. And we're going to continue to do this to all of the pieces of the chicken tenders i'm using six pieces of chicken tenders for this recipe and um i always cut my chicken or clean my chicken like this in my hand but i would suggest that if you're not used to cutting your chicken like this or cleaning your chicken or any type of meat like this you do use a cutting board so that you do not hurt yourself you know safety comes first so i did warn y'all behind so if you cut yourself that's on you all right because i don't told you little ball head self don't do it like me i don't know if you could do it like me but if you can do it but if you can't don't all right so here i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use some organic lime i'm gonna use some white distilled vinegar and then i I'm going to use some um, idolized salt. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix everything together. You can use fresh lime if you have it, but I do not have fresh lime. That's why you see I use the organic lime juice and I use a good amount of it because I do not have fresh limes at my house at that moment. But if you have fresh lime, go ahead and do the thing and use the fresh lime. Okay, I did um lose the clip where I was adding the seasoning to the chicken. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell you guys all the seasoning that I added to the chicken and it will be in the description box below. Okay, so for seasoning the chicken, I did use one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cayenne, a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, a half a teaspoon of Weber beer can seasoning, one teaspoon of complete seasoning. I put one egg in there and I also added a half a cup of buttermilk. Okay, that is everything that I use to season up my chicken. I'm sorry for losing the clip, but I don't know what happened. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So there we're done with that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start seasoning our flour. So here is my flour. I put one cup of flour and for my flour i season it with one teaspoon of seasoning salt a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper a half a teaspoon of weber beer can seasoning and a half a teaspoon of total seasoning okay all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix everything together you guys if you didn't catch all that don't forget that i will have it in the description box for you okay so now let's go on to making our waffles so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use two cups of flour i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use two teaspoons of baking powder and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use two tablespoons of sugar and i'm gonna put all that into one bowl we're mixing all the dry ingredients into one bowl next we're gonna take two bowls okay two separate bowls okay and we're gonna get some eggs we're gonna get two eggs and we're gonna separate them mom um, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put the yolks in one bowl and the whites in another bowl okay and then when we're done doing that we're gonna go ahead and we're going to remove the z of the egg which is the white part of the egg that is optional some people don't do that but it's a haitian things it's a haitian thing haitian things okay we always remove it and when i see it kind of bothers my soul okay it bothers my spirit it bothers me it makes me question who i am okay so i gotta remove it but if you don't want to remove it baby then go ahead and you leave yours there okay that's your business but it do help with the smell it makes some of the smell go away of the egg because you know egg do have that raw smell it helps with the smell okay all right so next we're gonna go ahead we're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna take our egg whites and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna beat them with our mixer you need a mixer for this because if you try to do this with your hand you're gonna be beating them things for a long time okay a very very long time you're gonna be like who lord this ain't where it's at so you need you one of these i got that for approximately like ten dollars i think okay it's been a long time don't quote me on it all right so here i have my um wet ingredients my wet ingredients i went ahead and i put the egg whites in there the egg yolks i mean and i put one cup and a half a cup of milk in there okay then i went ahead and i put it some um um with that thing called vanilla extract okay then i went ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and i mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that 
thoroughly okay we're gonna mix it thoroughly until our mix to start coming together until it start coming together like this yes all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add my butter this is approximately two tablespoons of butter that is melted okay i'm putting them at two separate times i put that little bit first and i kind of mix it in there then i went ahead and i put the remaining and I went ahead and I mixed it all up in there. You don't have to do it that way. You could put it all at once, but I just wanted to do it that way. So I did. I wanted to, so I did. Okay. All right. So then here is my egg whites. You remember the egg whites we was beating for a long time? Well, we didn't have to because we had the mixer. We're going to go ahead. We're going to fold that bad boy into there. Okay. You're going to keep folding it and folding it until you don't really see the egg whites no more. Okay. Until they have dissolved and they became one. Let that little bad boy sit for approximately five minutes. While that is... Um, sitting for five minutes, you should go ahead and take your little waffle maker and, you know, preheat it. Then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna put some butter on that waffle maker so that it do not stick. If you have some non-stick spray, use that instead. But I did not, so I use butter, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of that mixture onto my waffle maker. Make sure you don't put too much, you guys, because it will overflow. So I did use my measuring cup to kind of help me. I put two one-fourth cup and then a half a um, one-fourth cup. And it didn't overflow. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set that to the side and wait until the light turn green and let it cook. So now we're moving on to frying our chicken tenders. We have our seasoned flour, our chicken um, tenders, our seasoned chicken tenders. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put the chicken tenders into the flour. We're going to mix it well around so that it could get some of that flour on the chicken tenders. I am doing this with my bare hands. Yes, I am cooking for myself and I am cooking for my man. My man know I'm clean. Okay, trust me. <laughs> he knows. Okay, so he on my eating from my hands. But if you're not cooking for your family, if you're not cooking for yourself and for your man or maybe for your kids, do put on a cutting glove, okay? If you catering or you cooking for people outside your family, do put on a, cu a cutting glove, okay? I say cutting glove. I mean just a glove, period, okay? And this is how the chicken look when it's cooked. I let it fry for 10 minutes, okay? This is how it look at 300 degrees. And then to um, go ahead and set this up, I went ahead and I put two waffles. I put three chicken tenders. I put the chicken tenders standing up so they can look beautiful. I went ahead and I put this some parsley for a garnish and i put some strawberries on the side as well for a garnish and baby i went ahead and put some powdered sugar on there so it could look even more appealing to the eye make sure you fix your man plate just like this because he is a king and you want to make sure that food look presentable and it look like he he ate he eating at a restaurant okay presentation is everything trust me presentation is everything make him feel like the king that he is all right that's if he paying bills if he not paying bills baby don't you don't don't you i don't even know why you cooking for him all right all right i said what i said and there you have it you guys chicken and waffles yes it don't get no better than that Whew, yes child i'm trying to tell you i did that yes Woo! you guys do not forget to like do not forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time